Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and welcome to another Does That Really Work? This is the auto show that tests tips, tricks, and automotive-related products to see if they really work for me or not. Now, in some of the tips that I have provided in one of the videos, I talked about how important your air pressure was. Make sure you have air pressure, and that's going to prevent you from having a blowout, an unnecessary accident. And also, that's an easy way to improve your fuel mileage is make sure that your air tire uh, has a proper amount of air pressure. But the problem with that is um, some of your vehicles, like this 2004 Chevy, you know, it doesn't have a monitor system that checks your tire pressure. So to keep on top of that, you really need to check your tire pressure, you know, and it's recommended weekly. But realistically, we're probably not going to be out here checking our tire every single week. But we found this uh, product, it's GoSafe uh, TMPS Tire Pressure Monitoring System. And it hooks up to your iPhone or, or some type of smartphone and it does that for you. So we're going to test that to see if it really works and if it works as uh, recommended. It says on here, easy installation, three minutes. Uh, it says its accuracy is plus or minus one PSI, has an anti-theft sensory mounting design, uh, abnormal pressure warning, wireless transmit, light and compact, and uh, monitor tire pressure and temperature continuously. So we're going to install this, see how it e easy it is to install, and uh, see if we can figure this Bluetooth part out for you. And we're going to show you the steps and let you know how it worked for us. Now everything you need is in this kit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take it out, and we're going to start hooking it up. Okay, I've kind of looked through the manual, and I'm going to give you the steps that it gives, and hopefully get it hooked up right. First, if you'll notice, these have a L2, R1, R2, and L1. L stands for left, so that's going to be the left side. One's going to be your front, two's going to be the back. So for example, this is your right front, so it's going to be R1. So we're going to get that out. And each one of these has a battery that you put in. So we take that out. And this cover, it'll come off, screws off. So take that cover off, and that battery slides right through here. There's an opening right there, and the battery just slides in like this. and then put your cover back on. Just like that, when you get it hand tight, you want to get it too tight and strip anything out. Now this also comes with a nut. You want to take your valve stem off and then put this on and just thread it on all the way for now. And then you're going to get this and screw it on hand tight. You hear it leak air just for a minute to get on tighter. And it also comes with a little tool here. And you can tighten it up a little bit more. I mean, you don't want to crank on it and get it too tight. You might strip something. But we're going to reach down here and grab this and tighten it just a little bit more right behind this probe. You can grab onto it right there and tighten it. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now that nut that I put on, I'm going to loosen it back up, and that will tighten it up against this, and that'll make it to where someone can't steal this, you know, because it's going to be on there tight and make it harder for them to remove that. So I'm back that up. Now I'm going to loosen that up, which is really tightening it up against this monitor. Okay, so that one's installed, and now we'll do the other three. Okay, we got the right front, which was R1. Now we're going to go do R2, which is the right rear tire. And he's going to follow the same steps. He's uh, took the cover off, is going to install the battery. Okay, he got the nut on, now he's got the monitor on, and now he's uh, snugging up the monitor, and then he'll back that nut up to, to lock it in place. Ok, 
Okay, it's starting to get dark on, so I got Jacob doing the other side, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this part, but this part's really simple. This just plugs into a USB, and if you don't have a USB plug in your truck, it even has an adapter here that can fit into a cigarette lighter. So that will go in your lighter if you don't have a, any other place for it. This plugs into this. And this, uh, this you can mount wherever you want to. I actually have a USB in my glove box, so I'll probably put this in there. And if you want to mount it somewhere, it comes with some Velcro you can put on here and mount it somewhere if you'd like. Okay, now I got my iPhone, and yes, I did break the screen on it. And uh, then I got this cover afterwards, which doesn't make sense. But what you do in this little booklet, they give you the uh, app to go to, and you type that app in, and it brings this up here. It's a free app that you install. So you just install that. And it'll mention it in here, but the app is called, it's P-A-P-A-G-O Go Safe TPMS app. See it right there. Okay, now I've downloaded the app and you can see that it's right here, but there's a few settings we have to do first. Okay, the little manual that comes with this, it'll go through the steps of how to set up your Bluetooth, but uh, don't do, make the mistake that I made. I was on here searching for it, couldn't find it, and realized that, you know, this USB is not powered unless I have my key on. So I had to turn my key on, and then it showed up with no problem. But once that's located in your Bluetooth, you pair it up, and that'll take just a minute. And then we'll go to the app and see what it looks like. Okay, we got the app all set up, and, and when you get in there, there's some setup. You can set it to PSI, uh, different alarms you can set up, you know, uh, you know, how low of air pressure or high of air pressure, and it actually send you a text, which is pretty cool. So anyway, it seems to work. We're not going to end it there. We're going to drive around for several days and see how well it monitors the tire pressure, and then we'll come back, finish this video, and let you know how it really works. And also one thing on the direction, it said three minutes. Well, that, that's probably true if you have done this before, but if you're like us, first time you have ever done it, it's probably going to take 10, 15 minutes. I mean, it still is not much work, but you know, getting it all out, laying it out, seeing what all you have, and uh, going through it for the first time, setting the app up, probably looking at 15 minutes, which is not bad. So we'll test it out for three or four days, see how well it monitors. We'll be back and finish this video. Okay, we decided to go ahead and test this for about two weeks. We've been driving around, couple took a couple little trips, and uh, I found it to work good. It worked every time, gave me the, the tire pressure and the temperature and things like that. Although we never had any problems, you know, the tires pressures was uh, constant. They didn't, none of me ever go low, but you know, this has really come in uh, helpful, you know, if the weather's fluctuating a lot, going up and down, uh, maybe winter's approaching or something like that. That's, that's whenever tire pressure is going to go down a lot of times. So, you know, it'd be real helpful, you know, during those times, just give it a quick look, you know, check your tire pressure and you'll know if you need to go put some air in it or not. So basically, I think this works as described. Uh, worked well. As I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the only thing is it may take a little bit longer for installation your first time, get the app set up and everything. But, you know, maybe 15 minutes, you know, max, and you should be able to have this set up yourself. Well, that wraps it up for this video. But if you've got one of these systems, you know, be sure and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And as always, appreciate you for watching these videos. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.